place in downtown Green Bay that connects you with local artists. And joining us this morning from DIY Studio and Gifts is Jenny Waller to tell us all about it. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. So tell us um, about today, DIY. Oh, um, at DIY we sell um, local handmade goods from different artists. And then we also do um, Monday and Thursday craft classes. And what are you showing us today? Um, today I have Bethany from Larky Park and she is going to show you how to make a fabric belt with um, some embellishment on it. Hi Bethany. Hello, how are you this morning? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. So show us how it's done. So, it's super simple. What you're going to need are two five and, and a half inch rounds of tool, preferably stiffened, an inch and a half round of felt, some fabric. I prefer a little bit of something filmy like an organza as well as a cotton poly. Um, they need to be at least, the cotton poly needs to be at least 20 inches long and the organza 40 to 42. That needs to be doubled over. And also your choice or selection of ribbon as well as a vintage pin or button. And so what we want to do to start off with is to actually take the round, fold it in half, come in a little bit and stitch back and forth several times. This then forms some texture, some layering that we are going to apply our fabric to. Now what we're looking to do is to ruffle up this fabric and the way we do that is to come in about a, about a quarter of an inch along, the sti uh, along your stitch line. You want to come in and using your largest possible stitch on your machine You'll run it and then pull. This gathers and ruffles. You'll work this down. And this is what you're going to end up doing to both the filmy and what I like to call a little bit of a grittier fabric, something with a little bit more heft, enabling us to form a rosette. We'll do this with both the filmy fabric and, again, the cotton poly. And these are layered. They're layered on, we're going to start with this choice of ribbon, something kind of fun and funky. And with our tool, we're coming about uh, six to seven inches to the right of center, placing our, our little bit of felt. And you'll want to use a fabric adhesive, like an Aileen's glue, a dot here, press, another dot on top of the felt forming a secure bond, and laying your tool. With an adhesive, this would need a little bit of time to dry, and in that time period, you will have ruffled both of your layers. They get stacked like a sandwich, so you'd have your tool, you'd have your ruffled layers. We're going to go ahead, actually, and do that here. Can you show us one it, of the finished um, projects? So I'd love see them to. Before we run out of time, and will you be doing any classes at DIY? Yes, there'll be classes coming up. You can check the Facebook for DIY, the Facebook page. The finished looks exactly like this. Your vintage pin in the center or a button. It can be used as either a belt or something attractive for a formal event is as a gathered wrist corsage. Oh, that's a great idea too. Bethany, I love it. And Jenny, thank you so much. And we'll check back with you and meet some more of the artists and crafters later this morning. Sounds great. And I'll be sure to link that on our Facebook page as well for the DIY Facebook.